Hello, hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Dinner with Danielle right here on kosher.com. I am so excited to be here today. We are making one of my favorite dinners. We are making a fish dinner. Tonight, we are bringing on the flavor. To be exact, we are bringing on the tropical flavor. The star of the show tonight is our sea bass. I agree, it is a pricier fish. And I know what you're thinking, why would I make that for a weeknight dinner? So let me tell you what I did. I love sea bass because when you cook it, it kind of always stays moist, even if you forget about it for a few extra minutes, this, that, you get those crispy edges, but it's still really tender on the inside. And we're gonna cook it in such a way that you can actually feed a lot of people for very little money. What I did was I bought a six inch piece of sea bass and I just sliced it almost all the way to the bottom, Hasselback style, if you will, so that when we stick it in the oven, it's gonna spread where the slices are, we'll get extra crispiness, stay tender because it's compact together, and then you can just scoop it out. So instead of giving one filet per person, you could easily feed eight, nine, or 10 people with this if you serve it on the side of a really nice big salad with some garlic bread or something like that. You can definitely stretch this and get the most of your money and still serve a delicious sea bass dinner. So let's talk about the marinade now. I love everything about this. The first thing you wanna do is get one mango cubed, cut up, and stuck in the blender. Then for a little bit of heat, because we are going tropical here and we do need some heat to balance out the sweetness, we are using shisito peppers. I love shisitos. They're very, very mild. They have a really nice florally fruity taste. They roast up so deliciously, but we'll get to that soon. So we're gonna add one of those to our food processor, one clove of garlic, the zest of one lime, Yum. The second you start to zest the lime, you could smell it. And it just smells so good. There's a reason why everybody loves limes, because they're delicious and they're so beautiful. Get all that good zestiness right in there. We're gonna slice it in half and use the juice. No lime waste in my house. Even smushed, they're beautiful. And the last ingredient in our marinade is coconut cream. Coconut comes in a few different forms in the can. There's coconut milk, coconut water, and coconut cream. Each one has a higher fat content. You wanna look for the cream, and when you buy it, usually there's a solid part of coconut on top, and on the bottom it separates, and that's coconut water. You wanna use the cream part. See, it's white and thick and creamy. You can't really have an island dish without coconut. It sort of goes together, like peas and carrots. <laughs> we're gonna get a cover on and we're gonna zhuzh this up. The second you open up your food processor, you right away get the smell of that mango and the really mild heat from the shisito. First thing we wanna do, season up our fish with a good sprinkling of salt and pepper. Sprinkle from high up so that your seasoning distributes evenly. Get some pepper. You can go light on the pepper because there is heat in the marinade. And now we're just gonna pour three quarters of the marinade over the fish. We're gonna reserve a little bit of it. Well, you'll see for what's next. I'm just gonna get a glove on because I really wanna get into all those nooks and crannies that we created in the fish. I'm just gonna add flavor everywhere. Yum, it's gonna be so good. Okay, let's spread that out. There we go. Yum, yum, yum. Keep a nice thick coating on top. Fish is one textured 
And food needs to be a multi-textural experience because it just makes it taste better. It does. It's funner when you have something soft and something crunchy and something creamy. So we are going to add texture now. Because we're living in the islands today, we are using macadamia nuts. They are lightly roasted and salted. You just want to put them in a Ziploc bag, take a rolling pin, give it a few good whacks. This is actually a really good way to get your kids involved. My kids love banging anything, especially with a rolling pin. All right, we're just gonna go in with a sprinkling of our, oh my gosh, yes, yes, yes. You know it's gonna be crunchy because the nuts are gonna stay crunchy and it's gonna be such a good topping because it pairs so well with the coconut and the mango. Are you guys seeing how good this is gonna be? I hope so, this is just amazing. Don't be stingy here. They're delicious, they add crunch. And last but not least, just because I like to drive home the flavor and I like to see what's in the food, a sprinkling of unsweetened shredded coconut. This looks like vacation. You're basically on vacation when you make this. You don't even need to eat it. You can just make it and it's as if you're away. And it smells delicious. Okay, we're gonna get our oven preheated. Meanwhile, we are gonna make something to serve this with. We are gonna make some roasted veggies. I have some green beans here that I just cut the ends off of. Sprinkle those babies right on. And then, to drive home the goodness, we are gonna roast up some of these shisitos. They are so good and delicious. They get a little bit sweeter and more of the flavor comes out. They're so yum. We're just gonna mix that right in. There we go. And don't think we forgot about our extra marinade. We're gonna get that right on top. You don't even have to mix it in, just drizzle it over. Yes. When food looks so good raw that you don't even wanna wait to cook it, you know you're in for a good dinner. Season these up with some salt and pepper. a very light drizzle of olive oil, like we're talking quarter teaspoon here. There we go. And that's it. This whole dinner took minutes to prepare. We're gonna stick it in the oven for such a short time and you are gonna be transported to another land very, very soon. Look at what we have going on. Look at how perfectly it's cooked. It's so moist and soft. You have those crispy edges. The nuts got crisp and look at these. Look at this tray of goodness. It got crispy. It soaked up a little bit of that mango shisito flavor. I think, I'm not even gonna wait. Let's just go right in. Roasted veggies done right are just delicious. Okay, let's plate this up. I have some salad here, some really nice sturdy leafy greens to hold up to our strong fish. Let's get a piece of our fish in here. Oh my gosh. One piece is not gonna be enough for me. Oh yes. Let's gather up some of our shisito and string beans. Pile those right over our salad so we get a little bit of salad, a little bit of fish, a little bit of string bean, shisito in every bite. Oh my gosh. And then let's go back to our basic building block recipe. Grab a little balsamic vinaigrette. If you made a cider vinaigrette or a lemon vinaigrette, it will all be fine. Just a little something to dress your leaves with. Oh my gosh. Last but not least, garnish. A little bit of cilantro to draw home all those island flavors. A little bit for me, and a little bit for you. Look at that. Who would not want to eat that for dinner? I don't know. It looks amazing. It's literally transportative. Transportive? Transportative? Time to dig in. I am so excited. I 
Gotta get a piece of the fish first. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at how moist and juicy it is. And you got the crunch on top. You see the yellow from the mango. Here we go. I could smell the ocean air. I'm so happy right now. The only thing that could complete this dinner is some sort of rum-based cocktail or just the rum. Thanks so much for joining me on our island adventure today. For this recipe and more delicious recipes, head on over to kosher.com. Bye guys. Bye.